In this video, we're going to be going over everything you need to know about lead conversion inside of CRM. That's going to cover going into the back end settings and setting up the conversion mapping, aka where everything is going to land when a lead gets converted. We're also going to show some ideal ways to add fields to the lead to ensure that, that conversion happens automatically for you. So before we jump in, I do wanna ask if you find this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below as that really does help us out. If it sparks any questions, feedback, or additional video requests, leave those in the comments section as we do try to read through each and every one of those on a weekly basis. So without any further ado, let's jump right on into the CRM. So in CRM, I've got an example lead set up. We'll see that uh, it's got primarily the default information with just a handful of custom fields that are relevant for the lead management process. So first thing we're gonna do is just take a look at the conversion settings and see what it looks like. So to do that, I'm gonna jump into the settings here and then into that lead conversion mapping. So in our settings, we'll go to modules and fields, and then we'll access the lead settings and go into lead conversion mapping. This is one of those settings that's like weirdly hidden. You know, it kind of lives under this three dots and into here in the lead conversion mapping. And really what this does is it gives you a column on the left of all of those fields that are in your leads module. And then it gives you a column for accounts, contacts, and deals where you can actually set up which fields you want these to go into. So what we can see, for example, is that annual revenue is mapped over to the account under annual revenue. What you'll also notice is that it's going to force you to map these fields to appropriate field types. So annual revenue is a currency field. So it's only gonna be able to land in a currency field in these other modules. So we can see that, for example, contacts, they don't have any currency fields in them right now. So no options are available. Whereas in the deal, if I were to come in and look at the deal record, there are actually three fields here for amount, budget, and model price. Now, in our case, none of these would really match annual revenue. That's kind of something that we only really care about tracking at that account level. But let's say we were looking at the annual SaaS spending. Maybe that can actually convert over into budget inside of the deal. Now, this will kind of be up to you in terms of figuring out exactly the right place for all of these fields to land. But this screen gives you a hugely useful way to do that. So you'll kind of want to go through each of these and just make sure that it's landing in the appropriate place. Like a few things that I see that are kind of weird in my demo account is like city is converting to mailing for the contact, but billing for the account. So maybe that should be like the shipping city instead. And so there's always going to be a little bit of work to do in terms of just reviewing any of those fields that you've added and ensuring that they're going to land in the appropriate place in those other modules. Now, let's say that this annual SaaS spending, we wanted to map it to the deal, but we didn't want to use any of these existing options. So all we need to do is jump over into the deals settings inside of modules We'll open up that layout. We'll drag in a currency field. Again, really important that we have the currency field here because it's the only one that we're gonna be allowed to map that currency field to. Now, let's say I called this annual software spending instead, instead of SaaS spending. Is that gonna cause us any issues? Well, the good news is no, it is not. Spoiler alert, you are all good. Um, even if you are using different field names, within these various modules, it's not an issue at all to go ahead and map that value to that field. So I'll go ahead and save this. As you would imagine, if you've been using the system for a long time, you may have many fields in the leads that just don't exist inside of contacts, accounts, and deals. And so in that situation, you're gonna need to do just what I showed you there, essentially go through each of these modules and make sure that you've added the appropriate fields where you would like all of that data to land. It's a bit of an exercise. It might take you a little bit of time. Make sure that you put them in nice places in those modules so it's still easy to read and find the information that you're looking for. But it is well worth the effort as then you won't lose that data when you go ahead and convert to, you know, the contact account and deal. However, if we're starting with the new field or a new instance of CRM, we can use a little trick to make our life a whole lot easier. So... When you're adding a field to a lead, 
there's actually kind of a special thing that you can do to predefine all of that conversion that will occur when that lead converts, essentially predefining where all of those fields are going to land. So let's say that we had something like, you know, engagement type, and this is a new field, and it's either a new build or a renovation. Now, in this case, if we scroll down here, all the way down to the bottom, it's kind of hidden, this also create for section. So here, I can select any of these three modules, or all three of them, if that's what I'd like to do, and I can click done. By adding a field in that very particular way, we've actually already now set up the conversion rules that'll happen in the background. So if I go cancel, and I jump back into my lead conversion, and I find engagement type, so over here on the left, what we can see is that that's actually automatically been set up for conversion into the account contact and deal. So if you're kind of new to Zoho and you're just getting started in your customization, great time to watch this video. <laughs> it will save you a lot of time later if you add those fields the proper way right out of the gate. Again, like I showed earlier, it's not the end of the world if you forget to do that because you can always just come back in here and map up all those fields later, but it'll just save you the time and effort and any potential lost data if you forget to come back around to this by doing it properly right out of the gate. So with that, that is actually as simple as it is with lead conversion. Really, it all just comes down to going into those conversion mapping settings, making sure that everything is lined up. And again, if you're new to customizing leads, use that trick. I showed you to make life easier all the way around. If you found this video useful, please be sure to like and subscribe down below. That really does help us out. If it sparks any questions, feedback, or additional video requests, leave those in the comment section below as we do try to read through as many of those as we can on a weekly basis. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.